Have you ever thought about why some tasks that are relatively simple for humans can be difficult for current AI systems? Today, let's take a look at the ARC AGI2 benchmark and see how it helps us understand the differences between AI and human intelligence. This task benchmark comes from the ARC Prize Foundation, specifically designed a series of tasks that are relatively simple for humans, but challenging for AI. The test results are interesting. In a study involving hundreds of participants, humans achieved an average pass rate of 60%, with some participants even able to solve all tasks completely. In comparison, the current best performing AI systems, such as OpenAI's O3 Low, only achieved a 4% pass rate, while other AI systems scored close to zero. What might this gap reflect? Let's first understand the background of this test. Since 2019, the ARC AGI project has been dedicated to researching the capability differences between AI and humans. Although AI has made significant progress in specific areas such as Go and image recognition in recent years, it still faces many challenges in general tasks that require flexible thinking. The test rules are straightforward. Each task can be attempted twice. After more than 400 human participants took part in the test, the researchers filtered out those tasks that were solved by at least two humans within two attempts. Why do these seemingly simple tasks prove so difficult for AI to solve? By analyzing the test results, the researchers found that the AI mainly encountered difficulties in three aspects. The first is to understand the meaning of the symbols. For example, in a task, we see some gray shapes with a color palette above them. Each color square in the palette has a different number of holes. The key to solving the task is to count how many holes are in each gray shape, then find the color square in the palette with the same number of holes and use that color to fill the shape. For humans, it's easy to understand this rule, but AI often only sees the surface patterns and struggles to understand the relationship between the number of holes and the color that should be used. Second is the ability to handle multiple rules. In another task, we see some shapes with red connection points. These connection points are like the bumps and dents of a puzzle, telling us how the shape should be fitted together. If one shape has red points on the right, and another shape also has red points on the left, then they should be connected here. Humans can quickly understand this way of fitting, but AI often gets confused by multiple connection points and directions. The third is to flexibly apply rules according to specific situations. In a task, we need to divide the squares into left and right groups based on their border colors. This task requires us to identify key features, border color, and classify them accordingly. Humans can quickly recognize this pattern, but AI might get distracted by other visual features and miss the main point. This highlights the difference in how humans and AI process visual information. These examples illustrate that for tasks requiring flexible thinking, the approaches of humans and AI differ significantly. More notably is the issue of efficiency. The cost for humans to solve each task is approximately 17 while using high-end AI systems such as 3, Low, and O1 Pro costs 200. This shows that even in tasks that I can solve, there is still significant room for improvement in efficiency. This gap may stem from how AI systems operate. Current AI primarily relies on extensive data training and pattern recognition which allows them to excel in specific domains. But true intelligence is not just about memorizing and matching patterns. It also requires the ability to flexibly apply knowledge to solve new problems. Just like humans who can not only memorize knowledge, but also apply what they've learned to new scenarios. The advantage of humans lies in fluid intelligence, which is the ability to quickly adapt to new situations and solve problems with limited information. AI, on the other hand, is more like having crystallized intelligence, excelling at solving problems using known methods, but it appears less flexible when faced with new situations requiring innovative thinking. This is similar to how humans can quickly adapt to new environments, while AI requires extensive practice to master new skills. To advance the development in this field, the ARC Prize 2025 has established a total prize pool of $1 million, with $700,000 to be awarded to those 
whose solutions can achieve a score of 85% or higher while maintaining efficiency. Last year, over 1,500 teams participated, resulting in 40 research papers. This year's competition will continue to explore how to narrow the capability gap between AI and humans. This test tells us that developing true general artificial intelligence may require new ideas. Perhaps the answer does not lie in simply increasing computational resources, but rather in finding better ways to simulate the flexible thinking of humans. This path may be longer than we imagined, but that is precisely why it is more worth exploring.